Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of The Talk Show. I'm your host, Suri Smith, coming to you from the Daytona showroom at Melrose Arch. Now, with the year coming to an end each week, we've been taking a look at some cool and exciting cars that was launched throughout 2017. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Coming up on the show, we meet the GTI's younger brother and give you options. We show you the right way to adjust your rear view mirrors and we explore the car made to wow and give you some more options. Finishing off with motoring news. One launch that was definitely exciting was that of the GTD, which is the younger, more fuel efficient brother of the GTI. So, with the performance of a GTI and the fuel economy of a diesel, it makes for the perfect combination of car. Take a look at this beauty. The GTD was launched alongside the Golf R earlier this year in July, with the GTD being Volkswagen's only performance diesel derivative hatch that combines the sportiness of a sports car and the performance of a sports car with the fuel economy of a subcompact car in the most enticing way. I'm eager to show you guys exactly what the GTD is made of. extremely stylish. I have previously owned a City Golf. Now this is absolutely nothing like a City Golf, but the steering wheel has that same type of feel. You have got a multifunctional steering wheel and if you have already connected your phone then you are able to operate your phone volume levels as well as answer calls and drop calls through your steering wheel. And then apart from that, you can also change skip songs if you have connected your track list to be playing then you can also just select your songs on your steering wheel you also are able to activate your cruise control on your steering wheel and then also set your desired speed that you would like to travel apart from that this is an automatic variant you are able to drive it in manual because it does also have the, the flaps provided on the steering wheel so you are able to gear up or gear down using those flaps on the steering all your blind spots are open, so none, nothing is covered. You're able to see everything even through your rear view mirror. Everything's nice and open. You've also got foldable side mirrors. So if you're gonna be maneuvering in and out of tight spaces, then you are also able to fold away your side mirrors should they be in the way. The middle console is very lovely. You do have a very nice touchscreen infotainment system. Uh, through that you are also able to select tracks by doing just a by making use of the motion sensor so if you have already connected your phone then you are able to select which track you would like by just doing that let me actually just put it onto the radio so you can even go from station to station Twelve drinks and twelve pop-up. Very, very nice indeed. Nice touch. Now this is a diesel variant, which means that it is super light on fuel, and uh, you you definitely, like I said, will be saving on fuel. But then apart from that, it's also very, very uh, safe on the on the economy because you also have a stop start, which is very, very convenient. Apart from that, you do have a park assist button that you can press and then the vehicle will gladly assist you with parking. And then you also have a button that you can press should you want to see all the camera or whatever's happening behind you. A nice eagle's view there at the back. 
and apart from that you've got a cigarette holder and plenty of space in the middle console and on either side of the front doors your cubby is also very large so you can store most things in your cubby holder and then also at the back you've also got nice storage compartments lovely lighting provided in the interior so if you are going to be maneuvering in and out of your vehicle at night time then you'll be happy to know that there's plenty of interior lighting also got a nice sunglasses holder where you can conveniently tuck away your sunglasses should you not be wanting to wear them anymore and also if you just select the front lights or even the rear or even like all the lights on in the whole interior you are able to do that and then you can also select whether you would want the light to go on every time you open or close the door so nice lighting provided you are also able to automatically set your side mirrors so if you if you would like them to go up or down you just select left or right and then you just maneuver it to how you would want it to be the seats are manually operated but they are heated seats which are quite quite nice and then you've got dual climate control so your passenger can have their desired temperature and you can have your desired temperature so no one will feel neglected in any way very good acceleration when you take off from 0 to 100 you'll be reaching your 0 to 100 mark rather quickly and also swift gear changes so you, you do reach your desired speed very much quicker than you would. Now like if you had to put it into manual you'll even be able to reach it even quicker. As you can see lovely blend of materials even on the doors and the seats are also lovely you get some material some leather coming through and some lovely gray stitching very very sporty feeling in the interior nice sporty bucket seats sporty pedals and those nice touches of silver and chrome coming out on the steering with the GTD badge to remind you that you are in fact driving a beast and if you are going to be traveling long distance in this beast then you'll be happy to know that not only does it have great sound coupled with the motion sensor you're going to be having a blast but then also you can open up the sunroof and just have a even more open feeling in the interior and also a lot more ambience with the outside sounds coming in now if you just look through your steering wheel you also have a display unit now through your display unit you can also access various settings you can check out telephone you can check out vehicle status you can check your lap timer so in other words if you're going to be going around the lap then you can check each and every time that you go around the lap you can check whether you did a better time and you've got assist systems navigation this vehicle also has navigation along with the reverse camera those are really really nice features to have and you can also operate your audio telephone and so forth just by making use of your steering wheel so you are able to not even take your hands off the steering wheel and still get into all those little settings without even losing focus of what's going on in front of you. Very, very important that you always do that. I actually say that this vehicle has stop start but it doesn't. But even without a stop start, just it being a diesel, it is super fuel efficient. got electrically operated windows front and back and you've also got ice fix mountings so if you are having a if you do have a startup family small family or planning to have a family then this vehicle will be the ideal vehicle for you not only is it a great deal of fun it's fuel efficient but you're also able to transport your baby seat around as well as your pram because the brood space has got enough space so it will make a really good startup family or small family vehicle. Definitely a fun vehicle to drive. And you are also able to maneuver your steering wheel. So if you want to adjust your steering, you're able to do so. And you've also got a nice secret compartment on either side of the front seats that can store up to 1.5 kgs worth of things. Moving on over to the back. Before I do, 
You've also got sensors and a beepers, so if you're going to be reversing or if someone enters your blind spot, you will be notified. Jumping in at the back, you've got enough legroom and headroom space. Your back passengers will be very, very comfortable. The person sitting in the middle will have a little bit of leg problems due to the raised console in the middle. However, if you are just going to be two people, you are able to do it in style as you've got a nice armrest in the middle and two cup holders as well. You also have nice airflow and you've got nice reading lights and with the sunroof being open you get that lovely added feeling of openness. Very nice indeed. Checking out the boot space. You've got plenty of boot space and you've got a compartment on the side where you can also store little bits. Apart from that you've also got a 12 volt input where you can charge or plug in your, your electricity and then you've also got a manually foldable tow bar. Now how much will an exciting vehicle such as this be putting you back? Under 510,000 Rand. Now we like to give you the consumer some options, so if you are in the market to buy, let's see whether you would rather prefer any of the following options. Let's first recap on the star of our show, the Volkswagen Golf GTD, which has a starting price of 506700 Its 2.0-litre turbocharged diesel engine with 6-speed automatic transmission pushes out 130 kilowatts of power and a whopping 350 newton meters of torque, which will be super fuel efficient as the GTD has a claimed average fuel consumption figure of 5 litres per 100 kilometers. You will also get 7 airbags with you will also get seven airbags for your safety. You could also take a look at the BMW 2 Series 220D Coupe, which has a starting price of 553,200. Sporting a 2-litre turbocharged diesel engine that pushes out 140 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque will definitely not make a dent in your pocket as it has a claimed average fuel consumption figure of 4 litres per 100 kilometers. You will also have added peace of mind knowing that you will get six standard airbags. Lastly, you could take a look at the Audi A3 Sportback, which also sports a 2-litre turbocharged diesel engine. The Sportback delivers 105 kilowatts of power and 340 newton meters of torque, which will be super fuel efficient as it has a claimed average fuel consumption figure of 4.5 litres per 100 kilometers. You will also get seven standard airbags for your safety. Rear view mirrors, did you know that there's a certain way that you can set it to get the most out of it? Up next, we show you how. How to set rear view mirrors to eliminate blind spot. Adjust the inside mirror so that you can see the entire rear window from the driver's seat. You should have to only move your eyes, not your head, when using this mirror. To adjust the driver's side view mirror, place your head against the left side window and set the mirror so that you can barely see the side of the car in the mirror's right side. To adjust the passenger's side view mirror, position your head so that it's just above the center console. Set the mirror so that you can just barely see the side of the car in the left side mirror. Time to take a short break, but do stay tuned for more motoring action when we return.